Garland police say an armed man they wounded in a shootout was violating a protective order being at the home where they confronted him. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. Police say they encountered the man at the back of the home this afternoon, tried to get him to cooperate, but he opened fire on officers. Police say two officers wounded the gunman, 42-year-old Matthew Waldrop, and have him now in custody. The officers were not hurt. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen is in Garland tonight with more on the police shooting investigation. Blake. Yeah, Heather, we talked with several neighbors who were home at the time. Didn't even hear what happened. Just saw police swarming that neighborhood after the shootout. From Sky 4, we could see Garland officers in the backyard of the home on Echo Drive. Neighbors say it flipped from a peaceful neighborhood to crime scene in the flip of a switch. Sure, it went down really fast. I went out to grab uh, some lunch, came back within a few minutes. The whole neighborhood behind me was crawling with police. Police say the woman who lives there called them around one, saying her security service was activated, but no one was supposed to be there. Arriving officers say no one answered the door, but they saw someone around the back sitting inside a patio. Police identify that person as 43-year-old Matthew Waldrop. This is a prior mugshot of Waldrop from earlier this year from an arrest for violating a protective order. Police say the woman had a protective order against Waldrop, and he wasn't supposed to be at the home. The male was non-compliant. He was very combative. Uh, he was not doing what the officers were asking him to do, which was basically, hey, come out and talk to us. We just want to make sure everything's okay. Please say the two officers talking with the man noticed he had a gun next to him, and he picked it up and fired multiple shots at them. Uh, the officers quickly returned fire. Uh, they ran to him. Uh, they incapacitated him. Uh, they rendered aid. They called an ambulance, and he was transported. Police say neither officer was hurt. And police do have body camera footage of the incident, though it's not clear how soon it will be released. For neighbors like Anisha Wilson, who almost backs up to the house, it's frightening to think she narrowly missed a shootout. It's very scary that that could happen so close to home. Waldrop is stable at a hospital. Police say he will be charged with two counts of aggravated assault against a public servant as well as violating a protective order. Heather. All right, Blake, thank you.